comedian Joe Lysett is not backing down after giving David Beckham an ultimatum regarding his multi-million Qatar World Cup deal late last year. The Travel Man star asked Beckham to drop the deal in support of the LGBTQ community or he would destroy £10,000 of his own money. On the same day that the controversial World Cup began, Lysett live streamed himself dropping what appeared to be money into a shredder. He revealed the following day that he had faked the shredding and had instead donated the money to LGBTQ charities. For weeks, David Beckham did not acknowledge the headline-making stunt, despite repeated pleas. Around one month later, the Football Aces team issued a statement which Joe read out during a special edition of Joe Lysett's Got Your Back. Reflecting on the response now, Joe says David's response was insufficient. He said in a new interview with Radio Times, it, was insufficient, if I were being kind, and sort of rude and dangerous if I'm not. It wasn't written by him. It sort of said something along the lines of, how good it is that we're having conversations about things. And that smacked to me as being from a similar copy book to Trump's, there are good people on both sides. It's sort of saying human rights are up for debate. But at least we know where we are with him now. Don't miss. Guest list of stars invited to Archie's birthday by Harry and Meghan, Insight, Ollie Mers shares regret over coronation concert after baffling fans, latest, Carol Verderman's curves spill out of eye-popping dress in new video, pictures, I actually think. Beckham's, probably a good egg, but he's just got some people around him who are also probably getting some of that sweet Qatari cash. In the statement in question, a spokesperson pointed out that the father of four has been involved in a number of World Cups and that he believes sport has the power to be a force for good in the world. It went on. We understand that there are different and strongly held views about engagement in the Middle East, but see it as positive that debate about the key issues has been stimulated directly by the first World Cup being held in the region We hope that these conversations will lead to greater understanding and empathy towards all people and that progress will be achieved. David Beckham's representatives have been contacted for comment.